Welcome to another beautiful day and another day of Dose of Did You Know, where intriguing, unique, inspiring individuals come to talk love and life and how it brought them to where they are today. And you know, I traveled the world interviewing the most intriguing and unique individuals. And I never know where it will put me, but today it has put me right here in Miami at the Violetta Lucia Art Studio with the CEO and founder, Miss Yurate. How are you today? Hi, Danny. I am doing amazing and I'm so grateful to have someone so successful, so well known and entertainer in business interviewing the most <laughs> famous people in the world so i'm really grateful and i'm honored to have you here sitting in our art studio in miami welcome thank you so much and i have to tell you this painting right above me is one of my favorites i do have a piece that has that same beautiful woman you will have to check out her website to find out which woman that is an art piece that is that i adore so much so i'm very excited i mean you came here you are the american dream you came here with 200 dollars in your pocket from lithuania you achieved what what we all want um, a college education an amazing career with um international languages and companies and bought your own home and yet how many of us feel this way that we're not fulfilled we're missing we're lacking we're not living into the purpose that we are meant here to be so you packed a suitcase went to hawaii and this was born right yeah absolutely you're right realizing that you're living someone else's dream but not mm -hmm. yours is the major aha moment in your life when you do that you start searching for yours yes. so that's what ha that's what happened to me i did yes had an international business degree and bought my home and had an amazing career and worked with multiple biggest companies in the usa that are going global with 27 languages and here i was not satisfied mm. after reaching my american dream i felt like this is not my dream so i have to search for mine i have to find what makes me happy what is my passion mm -hmm. what is my mission in this world and exactly i left everything behind and moved to hawaii and i spent five years in hawaii really searching for my sole purpose, really trying to find the answers. And that's when my business was born. Mm -hmm. That was the answer to all of my questions, to all of us, my searching. And it all came through my sister and I fusing our talents and passions together. She's, she's coming from fine art. I'm coming from a fashion. And we created together, we created a new dimension that did not exist before. Mm -hmm. And all the masterpieces, it started with silk scarves, basically painting Hawaiian nature yeah. onto silk. My sister is an extraordinary master of paintings on silk. And moving, you know, through all these years to more and more complicated pieces, feminine energy bringing the divine, bringing the really the elements of who we are, of the nature, of the femininity into that garment, into that wearable piece of art. I love how it's a constant, I'm listening to you, and it's a constant evol evolution, evolution of who you are as individuals, who you are as feminine beings, and who you are as a businesswoman, which brings us here today uh, to talk about your facial mask that you have created. And I'm a very visual person, so I did ask her to bring like the the beginning of it to like yeah. where <laughs> to the end. How does this happen? Because it is wearing a masterpiece. It's not something that you just like whoop, pop together. So yeah. talk to me, explain how that works. Yes, so from all these collections that we created, the bridal couture collection where every detail is hand painted on your wedding dress, the dream, you know, mm -hmm. uh, to museum couture collection, to red carpet collections, to children's collection. Now we have silk masks and, you know, whenever the whole world shut off, we had to reinvent ourselves and to think, okay, what can we do now so people and the planet Earth can 
be happy and to bring something to them. So it all starts with white silk. It doesn't matter if it's a silk scarf, it's a dress, if it's a masterpiece, it all starts with the most luxurious white charmous silk. And then it turns into something like this. Which is always amazing. And go through the process of yes. this. Does this take an hour? Does this take a day? What? It takes at least two days, two to three days and three people involved <laughs> to create one piece. And then if you see, you know, like you can't really see maybe from there, but you can see all the details, like all the details of the butterfly. This is our newest piece that you have. I do have, I do have a custom made devoted to a soldier because I am devoted to a soldier. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, so it starts with uh, stretching the white silk, uh, creating a draft of what you're painting, then painting it, then taking it off of the frame, uh, heating it because you have to fix the colors with the heat and it takes hours to do that. So you make sure, you know, when you wash, thousand of times your silk mask nothing comes off so all the colors are set mm -hmm. because a lot of people ask so can i wash it is it gonna stay on of course you can <laughs> wash it it's not a one-time thing that's why we created all these pieces you can wear it over and over again you can give it to your next generation it can become an interior design detail it never goes to waste and never trashes our planet earth like fashion does. Mm -hmm. And you told me this great statistic earlier that one of your masks saves replaces oh, thousands yeah. of single-use disposable masks that makes their way into the ocean endangering the marine life. All these plastic masks that we see in the streets and the grocery carts and the stores on the streets everywhere on the beaches in the ocean all of these masks are the biggest polluter the biggest mm -hmm. polluter it's a plastic polluter that needs to be addressed and that's why exactly why we created our silk mask and not only silk not only that replaces you know those masks but silk is antibacterial antiviral anti-aging it will never make your skin break out it actually protects sold me skin. sold me right there <laughs> it doesn't trap moisture it allows you to breathe easily without like you can't even feel that you're wearing it. You look beautiful and you don't have to hide under the plastic shield. Mm -hmm. I love it. Which brings us into your next innovation of your company. And we don't have an example here because everything just got shipped off, I know, to a five-star resort. Um, tell us about that. Yes. Tell us about yeah. the secret. Again, you will have to find, check it out and find it out. Yeah, so it's the book uh, because we keep going to the beaches to, you know, pick up the plastic because there's so much plastic pollution. And so while doing that in the process, the book was born, born the educational children's book, because part of that book is my son, Lucas, who was three years old at the time, walking on the beach, picking up plastic and dragging this big bag behind him. And so seeing the problem, uh, my sister decided to hand draw the book, which she says, I'm not the author of the book, the ocean is. Mm -hmm. So the book is the story about a little boy and his relationship to ocean blue, where ocean shows him how our planet Earth is being destroyed every day by our unawareness, mm -hmm. by us as humans creating all this plastic waste on this beautiful planet Earth where we are part of the nature. We are one with the nature. And as long as we understand that if we destroy our nature, we destroy our future, if that will click, we can be able to turn things around. Mm -hmm. And so that's the book that really encourages people. And you said like it went to five star hotel where it's gonna be given to uh, kids amenities, daycare kids amenities, it really encouraging kids to be a part of that to contribute, to pick up that plastic trash, put it in the, in the, you know, in the bag. You don't have to leave it on the beach. Just pick it up and be a part of this because this is not my trash, but this is my planet. This is my home. This is my mother. So that's the whole story. So yes, mm -hmm. the book is our newest, biggest baby. Yes. And I love, and when you see it, you'll see like, 
just as each of their pieces are individualized, so is the book. It takes part of what they've collected, what Lucas, little the Lucas, fishing nets. yes, has collected off and it's, it's cleaned and it's tend to, it's given love and rebirth and then repurposed into this book. Binding. So yes, we spent yesterday, we spent probably like six hours at night putting the fishing nets into the binding of the book, adding the seashells. So it's all part of the ocean. Mm -hmm. It's all part of the story. And it's all individual, like you're saying, it's all individual and made. So yes, that's our newest amazing project that we just mm -hmm. finished. And as you can see, you not only lead with love from your heart individually, but you lead with love externally. It takes more than one person to create change. And it goes from your scarves, to your masterpieces, to your bridal collection, to your face masks, and to your book. Where if people want to give, because this book is not just a book, it's actually a foundation it is to a create change in this world. So action is needed to create change. But where if people want to give to the foundation or purchase one of the books or maybe one of your masterpieces, where would they go? Yes. So we create everything custom for the masks and everything else. So violetalucha.com and for the foundation, there is a foundation. So violetalucha.com foundation slash foundation. And you can buy the book there. You can contribute to the foundation. 50% off the book sales goes back to cleaning the oceans. And then 50% goes to Lucas Educational Funds. So this book is a nonprofit. This is a nonprofit foundation where we encourage everyone to contribute to create a beautiful, mm. uh, green, and less polluted uh, planet Earth. Mm. You are walking the walk, putting your money where your mouth is, creating innovation where people might not even see it. And I am blessed to know you and blessed to be able to share your story and to everybody out there. Remember as always, love hard, love pure, and love proactive and to be a guest on the show or learn more about the guests on the show or maybe you just want a little relationship tips from the relationship expert from the best relationship coach in the world don't underestimate yourself well thank you she does know some of my higher end clients so i do have to give her a little like love for that but dannyrocco.com and until next time take care Cheers.